It's gonna make their room pop for springtime. And this is one of them. I paid uh, I'm really excited about today's collaboration. This is a thrift shop hop collaboration and it is hosted by Nicole North Garden and in my description is linked her channel and then also in my channel is linked to the next lady who will take you along on this thrift shop hop. So don't forget to go in my description, click on the link and it will take you to the next lady and then in her description will be the next link to the next lady and so forth and so on. So this is going to be a fun collaboration. And if you love thrifting, you're going to love going along on with all of these ladies and thrifting with them. And don't forget to check out my description and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and let's get to thrifting. Um, I found some really, really good finds today, you guys. I was really excited about a certain item that I found that I will show you. And also don't forget to stay tuned to the very end because I am showing you how I style these thrifted finds in my girl's room for a pop of spring. So let's think pink and let's keep shopping and see what we find. my favorite thrift store you guys this is the habitat and I told my sister the other day you either go in and find nothing or you go in and find so much you can hardly carry it out but for the most part I find my best treasures here you guys tucked away and for the cheapest prices Um, I am on the lookout for lamps and rugs for my bedroom makeover and I am praying about those and I'm trusting that the Lord's going to lead me to them and answer my prayer because He cares about every detail of our life. Um, I was interested in this tea set right here. It was behind in the glass shelf, so I asked Lyle, the gentleman that works here, he is a sweetheart, you guys, if I could see them. And he, of course, he said yes. Um, this tea set was made um, in France. It still had the... Um, the, the antique store price which was $250 for the three-piece set and uh, it had like a really brilliant green wrapped around the little teapot and I thought of my sister Carrie because she loves anything from France and um, it was for $25 for the three-piece set Um, it really isn't my style even though it's beautiful but I believe my sister Carrie is going back to get that set so Someone who loves it is going to be buying it. These chess sets, there were three of them, and they were hand carved and they were made in Germany, so I know they're old. I didn't pick any up, but I wish I would have got that green one right there with the black and green little chess pieces. I think it'd be beautiful set out on a coffee table. In fact, um, I might go back and see if they still have it. So I went and checked out the pictures because I am on the lookout for anything vintage, floral, cottagey anything like that and surprisingly you guys I never find pictures here but I found some and I am super excited to show you this haul and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I have got back from my favorite thrift store and um, it's called the Habitat. Sorry I feel like every time I get to video and my eye starts itching. 
Um, my favorite thrift store is the Habitat, and you either come out with a bunch of stuff or nothing, and today I came out with a load of stuff. I also have several pieces from an estate sale that I got, like, I don't know, probably 20 items, literally 15 to 20 items for $25. And one of them I'm super excited to share with you guys is a wooden uh, vintage filing cabinet with brass handles. It has like three or four big drawers. Really excited. I got that for five and that included the $25. So several items are from that and I will show you the prices. And um, yeah, so let's get started. All right, I went into Habitat as you've seen and if you know me, I love silhouette pictures. Like, they are my favorite. I'm collecting them either for my living room or my bedroom. Oh, my little smoky man saying hi. Um, he just came home. He roams the neighborhood. And then, um, uh, so I went in there, and as you've seen, they had, like, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, my sister Carrie gave me this idea. I found this picture. This is for the girls' bedroom. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so cottagey, you guys. Okay, this was in a frame with a big purple mat around it, and I didn't like the frame nor the mat, so I took it out, and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how I style this in the girls' room for spring. I picked up a couple pieces that I think is just gonna make their room pop for springtime, and this is one of them. I paid uh, $3 for this, either two or $3, I can't remember. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's pretty big, you guys, see? So I got that at Habitat. And then, oh, this is my favorite find. I went in the pictures and I was thinking, I'm not gonna find anything. I don't know why I'm going to the picture section and I'm not gonna find anything. I found several pictures, which I'm only gonna share a couple because I don't have, um, I wanna keep this uh, haul down, you know, not so long. Look at these, you guys, $3. Let me hold up one at a time because see it has the cute little hook on the the top. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, it has an estate sale price, $35 for the pair. I paid $3 for both. This is one. Aren't they pretty? And they're about my size. Hold on. So my this is on. one. Now this one, this one's in perfect condition. This one is slightly different. You can tell. At first I thought, oh, they're the same, but they're not. There's a glare. There you go. They're different. This one is chipped up on the edges right here, but I am just going to take some gold spray paint and hold it outside on the grass and literally just go like, you know, like hold it sideways and go spray it and spray it and I think it'll be perfect. There's numbers on the back. It says uh, something's for, this is a foreign writing. I don't know what it says. Borges, Borges, I don't know, but it has numbers on the back. I can't quite make out. Um, spelled B-O-R-G-H-E-S-E, -E, so I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but anyways, has the cute little hooks, you guys, look at that, and I got the pair for $3, I love them, they're going to go so good in my house, I, this was my favorite thing I found, I'm super excited to find that find, I don't want to break them, they're almost like a um, ceramic, okay, um, this was also a Habitat, I found Really, I needed these for my chandelier because the girls are missing like three. So I found, and they're about this size. So I found one for the girls' chandelier to go on there. It's old and vintage, it's very heavy. Then I found a smaller one. So they have smaller ones up top and the bigger fat ones down at the bottom. So these are gonna go on the girls' chandelier and help complete the three missing um, crystals that I was missing. They charged me a dollar for both which I thought was really good. Then I love, you guys, is this pewter or is it tarnished silver? I'm not sure what you, what it's called. Anyways, I love it. Let's see what the bottom says. It just has a number, 104. Really pretty, very heavy, and it's so. You guys can kind of see. And I paid, it was like one or two dollars for this. I can't remember the price, but somewhere in that price range. Got that at Habitat. Okay, moving on to the estate sale I went to that morning, and I didn't film because it was just really hectic in there. You guys, these are going to the girls' room for the spring makeover, okay. This lady must have embroidered, embroidered, can I say that right? Beautifully, these pillowcases are so nice. 
they're like a perfect soft like I don't know what they are cotton but like really like buttery okay look how cute these are I got two pairs perfect condition I've already washed them and hold on let me flip it like that they say good night isn't that cute like I love it I thought okay and she charged me a dollar for the pair so I have two of them good night so I've already washed them I'm gonna put them on the girls bed and show you how I just style these simple thrifted finds for spring I think sometimes we overthink styling you know like for spring or for any holiday and really all you need is simple touches and I'm really trying to keep the girls room simple so these are gonna be a perfect touch to the girls bedroom and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how I style it okay another pair of the same material pillowcases hold on isn't that cute you guys like I love how simple it is so these were a dollar as well for the pair and I got two of them brand new they smell so good I've already washed them and I could tell she had must have just embroidered them and put them away like they didn't stink they were just like crisp like you could tell all right 50 cents I love this yeah I love throws you guys I'm gonna give you the detail there's a little string hanging but really it's in perfect condition and it's pretty big I would say it's big enough to go on the edge of a bed see so that's like pretty good size and I really was happy to find this I was like okay this is perfect you, throws are so expensive you guys I'm not joking I'm sure you guys know that so I got that we're down to one more little item oh my little snuggy bear come here you want to say hi you guys I'm have oh he's striking me I have baby fever so um, obviously we're not having any more kids and so he is my baby I love him to pieces and he got stuck in here when I was filming okay let me show you my last little find. This was at the estate sale. I told you I got the vintage piece, the vintage filing cabinet for $25. I mean, for $5, and I got everything for $25. And I am going to just be on the... I didn't count the items, but it was a lot. So I'm just going to be safe and say I got like 15 to 20 items, and I got all of it for $25. So I'm assuming this little duck was about a dollar or two really cheap their prices were so great you guys they were really nice they were actually friends of mine so um i was happy to see that it was their estate sale and they're just super nice look at this little duck you guys isn't it cute look at his little face okay he's a planter and he's so cute so he is like not real big but he's not like tiny smoky is just going crazy back there so he was around like one or two dollars and I've already washed him and he is going to go in the girls bedroom spring um, spring edition for their room for this spring and I'm excited to show you guys how I style it so this is my little haul for spring that I got all thrifted and all super cheap so um, let's get into the fun part and let's see how I put this room together really wanted tulips for the girls um, bedroom spring edition but I couldn't find any so in the end I grabbed these and I really prefer wildflowers but it's here in California where I live we don't really have that option to go pick um, flowers so easily and I think it turned out perfect I love the little cottage peeking out from behind the deck and it is adorable. It reminds me of a Jane Austen movie or a scene, and I love it.
I love this little pop of pink against the girls' cream vintage bedding. I think it's perfect for their spring edition makeover. I want to remind you guys to go into my description, click on the link for the next channel for the next lady on this thrift shop hop. And then in her channel, don't forget to click on the link in her channel and so forth and so on. And then you can see what all of us ladies pick up on this thrift shop hop. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful night.